Okay, let's try some, a couple of tries with the voice, with the microphone. Um, yes, Flor, hello, Flor, Carly. Thank you very much. Thank you. And here we have also Jose Mo Mauricio. Very nice. You're at home, right? No problem. Good evening. Good evening. No problem with the traffic, with your job, right? Everything okay? Nice. Okay. Uh, we have here also Juancito. Good evening, Juan. Mm, hello, Juan. How are you tonight? Hello. Fine, fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Uh, no really problem. Very nice. Here we have also. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's check who is moving. Okay. Let me check. Déjeme revisar. Okay, here we have also who else? Mm, cuando escriban en el chat. Eh, hay que identificarse because I don't know who is familia Estrada Villalta. Well, let's uh, see. What else do we have here? So um, we're going to start uh, by saying that today is the class number 10. So it means that we are actually in the middle, in the middle of the course. Estamos en la mitad del curso. That's really positive because it means that we have just 10 more classes, solo 10 classes más, estamos finalizando este curso. That's really positive. After this, you're going to have vacations. Van a tener vacaciones, so very good. Good for everybody. Creo que a todos les va a caer bien. After having a complete English course, you can have some, well, a couple of vacations. Van a tener un par de días para relajarse un poco. And then we come back for the, uh, English course in uh, module four and uh, please I recommend you to send all the documents required all the documents que se soliciten y que se piden pues envíenlos okay on time send them on time so you can be signed up pueden ya estar inscritos porque en cada curso in every course you have to send documents you have to send letters Eh, y pues de eso se trata, eh, se van inscribiendo curso por curso, ok, so I recommend you to do the same that you did the last uh, courses como en los últimos cursos, well, let me present you the topic of tonight's class, and it is unit to review and practice, so in this case, I know that you have finished all the homeworks from the unit two, and I'm pretty sure that you completed the midterm exam. También hicieron el examen eh, de medio curso, ¿verdad? De igual manera terminaron las unidades, bueno, la, las tareas de las unidades dos, right? We don't have problem with this. So, uh, nice for you. I don't know if anybody uh, had difficulties. No sé si alguien tuvo dificultades con algún ejercicio en específico. O si hubo algún... Contratiempo con algún ejercicio, alguna tarea. Solo, solo el 7 del 2. Teacher. Mm, sí, sí, Pero, desde que estuvimos hablando anoche. Sí, mm -hmm. lo superamos ahí. Ok, very nice. Eh, otra okay. cosa que les iba a comentar era esto. Mm, ya que estamos hablando del, uh, de los ejercicios, um, hay cosas, por ejemplo, A veces hay que ponerle un punto, right? A veces sucede eso. Otras veces es, por ejemplo, vamos a ver. En el caso de, de, de estos dos, Es importante ver esto, cuando vean un apóstrofe, 
la que deben de utilizar es esta, esta apóstrofe, ¿ok? Porque a veces, ese, la respuesta está mm, con respecto al orden, eh, bien hecha, pero tienen esta apóstrofe. Y si se dan cuenta, esta apóstrofe es más bien como tilde, más que ser apóstrofe. Entonces, eh, la dificultad acá es que como es, tiene esta separación, eh, no se la va a reconocer como correcta, ¿ok? Hay que tener cuidado con esto, ¿ok? Please use this apostrophe. This is the, the use, the, the one that you need, and avoid this one. Eviten esto, ¿ok? El apóstrofe correcto que estaba diciendo es comillas simple. Oh, exactly. Así es. Es la comida simple. ¿Verdad? Porque a veces eh, me han mandado capturas, no ustedes, pero otro grupo me han mandado capturas de eso y, y nos hemos dado cuenta que la plataforma, pues, eh, los filtros que tiene, pues, son un poquito estrictos en ese tema. Ok. Uh, let's move with this. And here we have this. Ways to say I agree with you. Cuando decimos I agree with you, significa estoy de acuerdo. Pueden decir aparte de I agree with you, simplemente pueden decir I agree o I am in agreement. Cuando utilizamos estos, Estamos diciendo que sí estamos de acuerdo con alguna idea. Por ejemplo, avoid using plastic bag. Eh, evitar usar bolsas de plástico. You can say, mm, I'm in agreement. I agree. No doubt about it. I'm with you. You can say all these phrases eh, showing your support. Eh, mostrando tu apoyo, alguna idea, any idea, any philosophy, any proposal, alguna propuesta. So, in this case, imagine you are in a meeting, en una reunión, and suddenly a person says, okay, I propose to, to finish this uh, meeting and let's continue tomorrow. You can say, mm, uh, you have a point in there. I agree. I agree with you. Pueden decir cualquiera de estas, pero eh, si no, pueden decir, I am agree. Es I am in agreement. Sé que la palabra agree es estar de acuerdo. Entonces usted dice teacher, pero am significa estoy, estar. Es necesario. No. Solo la palabra agree significa estar de acuerdo. Ok. So um, I'm going to uh, mention your names. Please stay if you are there. Hi, hello, good evening, you're present. And mention one of these phrases. Pueden utilizar I agree with you. I agree. I am in agreement. También pueden decir no doubt about it. No doubt. Así se llama un grupo. Se llama un grupo. No doubt. Sin duda. No doubt about it. I'm with you. Como la canción de Abril Lavigne. I'm with you. You have a point in there. I'm sorry. You have a point there. You have a point there. Tell me about it. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. No podría estar más de acuerdo. Okay. So say hi, hello, good evening. Uh, I'm here. If you listen to your name. Okay. Okay, Abele de Nilsson, are you there? Maybe not by now, Alexander is moving. Brenda, I don't know, Brenda, if you're there. Okay, and let's listen to Cesar. Present teacher. Thank you. What's your phrase? You have a pointer. Thank you. Uh, Douglas? Present. I am with you. Oh, very nice. I am with you. Let's listen now to Elia. Present teacher. Hello, Elia. Okay, what's your phrase? You have 
point there. Okay, you have a point there. Nice. Um, Fatima? I don't know if you're there. Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening. Okay, Fatima, what's your phrase? Tell me about it. Nice. Okay, Fernando is moving, as he said. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I agree, I agree more. Thank you. Very nice, Fernando Flor. Present teacher. Thank I you. I couldn't Flor. I agree more. Very nice. Gisela. Present teacher, you have a point there. You have a point there. Thank you. Uh, Jose Mauricio. Present. Tell me about it. Good one. Uh, Juan Cito. Present teacher. No doubt about it. Okay, no doubt about it. Thank you. Julissa is moving, right? So uh, here we have Carly. Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm with you. Okay, very nice. Laura is moving. Marvin, are you there? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Marvin, what's your phrase? I couldn't agree more. Thank you. Okay, so let's see, Janet. I don't know if Janet is there. Okay, uh, Odalis. I am here. Okay, Odalis, what about you? I am with you. Thank you. Oscar? No. Rosa? Okay, Kevin? Present teacher, okay. I with you. Thank you. Uh, Liliana? I don't know if Liliana is there. Uh, what about Mario? No, Mario, okay. Uh, Noe? Present. Okay, Noe. Nice, and Adriana? Okay. Let's see what, what else do we have here. Okay, uh, let's move to another part. Mention your favorite toy when you were a kid, okay? Mention your favorite toy, okay? My favorite toy was. Esa es la respuesta, okay? Let's start with Jose Mauricio. Okay. Um... Oh, disculpa, lo que subrayó. No, solo my favorite toy was. Oh, my favorite uh, toy was. Um, pues. A driver. ¿Cómo sería? Trip. A car, a remote car. No, or what? Uh, no, salir de viajes. Favorito es. Oh. No, toy es juguete. No, 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 no perdón, perdón. Es juego, sí, sí, sí. ajá. Um, eh, a car. Eh, rápidos, no sé. Cars, <laughs> ok. Fast cars, ok, thank you. What about Carly and then Marvin? Uh, my favorite toys were a uh, Woody figure from Toy Story. Mm -hmm, nice. And one from Camperonix, se llamaba. Camperonix, from Pollo Campero, right? Cabal, un pollito, un pollito con action, traje verde. Action, action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a chicken. Sí, a de green hecho, chicken. I, I stole from my uncle. Okay. When I was five. Really? Well, <laughs> yeah. it is nice because you, well, we 
we always have a good memories with some specific objects. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Marvin, and then we go with Gisela. In my case, my favorite toys were Blade Breakers. Okay, very nice. Just one. Yes. Okay, very and good. Shoulders. Interesting. What about uh, Gisela and Juan? Uh, my favorite toy was a kid is Tazos. Tazos, uh huh. Los que venían en los churritos. Yes, yes, in some yes. snacks. Okay. Yes. Yes, there were like circle, plastic, okay, Metal. rounded. Mm -hmm. Okay, tazos. Y se la creo que era así competencia. Ganaba tazos. <laughs> Los coleccionábamos con unos primos. <laughs> era buen tráfico, teacher. Sí, que si se la hacía transera. Okay, very nice, Giselita. <laughs> okay, good. Juan, and then we go with. Or at least. Uh, my first toy was down trucks or los camiones de volteo. Ah, okay. Really? Do you have one? Very nice. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Odalis and then Noe. My favorite toy was in the Barbie, the blacks. Ah, Barbie doll. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We, it is y like. Y el Ken de tamaño real, this. Yes, Ken de tamaño real. <laughs> Por ahí va la cosa. Ah, Yo tengo un Ken, pero bien autóctono. Okay, well, that's a national Ken. Okay. And pipil. Pipil, but remember, maybe you have. One or two cans or three cans, we don't know actually. Maybe, okay, right. So, thank you. And we go with Noe and then Abel. Uh, my favorite toys was Nintendo, in special uh, Mario Bros. Oh, yes, Nintendo, the first one, because after that came Super Nintendo, Super right? Super Nintendo, yes. Yes, that I guess uh, Super Nintendo console had like the biggest impact in console games. Eh, creo que tuvo yes. el impacto más grande. Oh, of sí. course, the, there, uh, there was the competition like Sega, okay? And then there came different types of consoles, Xbox, PlayStation, but Super Nintendo had a big impact in Latin America, I guess in the United States as well. Yes. But here in Latin America, it was like the boom. Well, ah, va, no importa cuántos nuevos saquen. Eso well, no Super decir. Nintendo was the, the biggest impact. De las mejores memorias que tienen. I, I guess, yes. Because I remember Atari and I remember the, the other with joystick. Había un joystick también para, para, para el primer Nintendo, but uh, with Super Nintendo, you have Street Fighter, Mario Bros. You have uh, Combat Mortal. And you have a, a lot of. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, well, we continue. Hasta nos estamos emocionando ahí. Uh, Abel. Okay, Abel. What about okay, you? My favorite tool was Dragon Ball Z. Oh wow! Yes, it was a yes. an action an action figure, una figura de acción. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Now, yeah, the now that you're talking about Dragon Ball, I remember when I was a kid, there were albums, and you had to collect uh, the cards. Poder uh, coleccionar, llenar uh, el álbum. That was another big uh, memory. That maybe a lot of kids. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. 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 <laughs> and now, if you notice the kids from from these uh, times, it is like different. Maybe because uh, everything is accessible. And in, in the past, uh, because we don't didn't have a lot of uh, access to, to to many things or visual things, that's why 
we appreciate it more. Como que se apreciaban más algunas cosas. Mm -hmm. Y porque solo en el teléfono pasan. Yeah, but imagine. Y ya se me rinde. Yeah, of course, a lot. But I remember, I don't know if you remember Super Vacaciones. It was cartoons, especially for November and December. Uh -huh, Eran caricaturas sí. solo para, esa, para, la, para la época de, de vacación, de estudiantes. So, in the past, in the morning, there were not cartoons. No habían caricaturas. Just soap operas or some other uh, morning programs. Programas matinales, novelas. But watching cartoons all the day or during the morning it was really amazing. Entonces, como estudiante, as, as kid, as student, you waited for that. Esperabas eso. Pero ahora creo que... Yeah. Moviendo la antena para ver. Yeah, now even streaming platforms, <laughs> las plataformas de streaming. ¿Se recuerdan algunos de ustedes decir cuando rentaban películas? Uh, I remember. Juan, yes. you remember? Because there yes, was... Blockbuster. Okay, there was Blockbuster, but there are some other pirates. Pirates uh, business. Había otro negocio como piratas, but you can rent it. You could rent it. Mm -hmm. Podría rentar. So, was, that was special. Juan, do you remember? You went yes, there. Yes, yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. And you had your credential. Tenías tu credencial para todo eso. You waited. Esperabas. It may be on the weekends, <laughs> quizás fines de semana. Oh, yes. Maybe you, you could uh, go on the weekends, fines de semana, rented a movie, came back home, regresabas a casa. Okay. You arranged the VCR, el VDH o el VCR, lo, lo, lo programabas. Tenías que rebobinar la, la, el cassette if you, that was not ready. Aunque normalmente lo daban ya listo. But, well. Yo de esos cassettes, teacher, tenía do, dos opciones. Nada más. O era Rambo o era Pokémon. Rambo <ríe> o Pokémon. <ríe> okay. Y el televisor de nuestra <ríe> audiencia. <ríe> <ríe> y, y tele espansoncita, va. Uh -huh. yeah. No, but if you notice, those were good memories. Eran buen, son buenos recuerdos. Por eso right? se macha. Vaya cosa. <laughs> por, eso, <laughs> por eso manda en su casa. Dice. Ok, nice. Ya hablamos yeah. un poco de, lo, de los recuerdos de antaño. Yes, I remember. I, I don't remember when was that blockbuster closed here. No recuerdo cuándo se dejó de rentar. Do you remember? I, I, I don't get. Juancito. Fue tipo 2006, 2007, por ahí así. Que al final cerró Blockbuster. Ok. De hecho, solo se uh, quedaron con una sucursal. Una sucursal que... en Los Héroes. No, la que estaba aquí por el árbol de la paz. Ah, Grupo okay. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, Grupo Cum. En el, ajá, el centro comercial, el, ¿cómo se llama? Los Procer. Ok. Mm. Que está casi que enfrente del estadio. Sí, 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 sí. Pujatlán. Es, es Entonces, cierto, en, es cierto. Cabal, en ese centro comercial es el único que se quedó, fue el último. Me wow. recuerdo, porque para esos entonces empezaban las famosas ripiadas de los DVD. Acción, ni modo, había que dos cora. había que no no estaban a dos cuadras al inicio no. gobernó no, la, la, la piratería yes yes fire right. de, de hecho a creo, dólares, yo aprendí a hacer eso pero yo lo hacía para mi consumo o sea eh, Juancito, no, el audio, no van a denunciar de películas de fuertes declaraciones pero imagínese hace y... Esto está Pero haciendo trabajo. No es que yo casi que soy, fíjese que yo soy bien eh, con Inquieto. el anime. Con el anime. O sea, yo casi ah. que solo de ese tipo okay. buscaba. Consumía, sí, es. You, sí. you like a lot of anime. De hecho, tengo ahí, porque hubo una época donde empezaron a vender Blockbuster. Empezó a vender las películas. Oh, really? I don't remember. Low cost. No. 
Sí, y tengo unas cuantas de Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT. Es que son tengo... originales. Blockbuster sí, Rented original. Original Cassettes. Yes. No, The Original one. DVD. Ah, DVD. 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 Yes. Entonces, tengo ahí el par de, todavía de recuerdo, oh, un okay. par de películas originales. Okay, very nice. I remember when it came the first movie of, of Dragon Ball and all those, cuando vinieron todo eso. No, in, increíble. Eh, pero fue una gran, una transición un tanto brusca también. Well, imagine my first CD of music. It was from Heroes del Silencio. It costed me, let me see, five dollars. Me costó 35 colones, creo, algo así. 35. Yo... Me Yo mandé a traer el último concierto de Soda Stereo. Uh -huh, el último concierto, ajá. Me costó como unos, parece entonces, allá por el 2000, 2005, por ahí así, 2000, no sé cuándo fue eso. Pero la cosa es que mandé a traer ese último concierto y, pero me costó carísimo. O sea, parece entonces valía como 65, 80 dólares, una cosa eh... así. I, I remember there were some CD shops, que, como CD Planet, I don't, I don't know if you remember. CD And Planet. The CDs hecho, was really expensive, eran carísimos. De hecho, ahí Carísimo. fue donde yo lo encargué, porque no había en el país. No, there were not. Pero ellos se lo podían traer, pero le elevaban el costo, o sea. Yes, of course, of course. It sí. was, yeah, it's good memories, bueno. Ok, ya, yeah. yeah. vamos a poner a llorar. Tranquilos, relax, relax. Okay, so uh, let's move, my friends. Then I'm, empezamos a hablar de juguetes, imagínense. Toys, toys, toys. Okay, and, and let's move with this. Okay, we're going to have a worksheet, ya que hablamos de Blockbuster y todo eso. Imagínense cuánto teníamos que, que hacer, todo lo que te, y hoy todo lo que tienen que hacer es encender Smart TV. Turn on Smart TV, ya tienen el streaming y todo. Okay. Remote control. Remote control. You need just Wi-Fi and well, qué cosas. Okay. Let's uh, have this again. Démosle una revisada a esto. We're going to work with questions. Vamos a trabajar as, con las preguntas in, in here. Uh, we're going to use did at the beginning. And then the subject, the verb, and the complement. Did es la clave. Okay? So, um, ya que sabemos esto, we already know how to do it. Here we have some questions. Just take a look at them. Denle una revisada a estos. Denle una revisada y ya lo vamos a comenzar a desarrollar. We're going to do it in a moment. apaga el micrófono, please. No se imaginan qué cosas he escuchado por no apagar el micrófono. No se imaginan y no la voy a decir. I'm not going to say. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, here we have this. Select one, Gisela, ya que andas con todos los poderes. From one, uh, I'm going to do, voy a hacer una para que vean. Por ejemplo, six. Okay. Did uh, Peggy and Olivia look? It's not facile. 
Look after the baby. Look after, it means take care. Significa cuidar. Eso significa look after. Es un phrasal verb. Ok, Gisela, and then José, Mauricio. And number one. Uh, number did one. you close the door? Thank you. Uh, Mauricio. And number uh, four. Four, then Carly. Uh, did uh, the boy. Yep. Intro a G. Ah, pardon. The boy a uh, jump. Intro the okay. lake. Into lake. the lake. Yeah, thank you. Carly and Abel. And number eight. Okay. Did the girl drop drop the ketchup bottle? Okay, drop the ketchup bottle. Thank you. Abel, and then we go with Noe. Not ready, Abel? No ready. This. Okay, let's listen to Noé and then Juan. Number nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, did Tim go with the green t-shirts last Monday? Yes, buy. Mm -hmm. Buy the green t-shirts last. Bye. Perfect. Good. Uh, we go now with Juan. Uh, number, number seven. Number seven. Did she make yeah. the invitation card herself? Thank you. The invitation. Okay. Mm -hmm. The, the invitation. invitation card herself. Hizo las invitaciones ella misma? Okay, good one. Okay, let's go with Abel and then yeah. we go with uh, Kevin. Okay. Number 10. Okay. It's, uh, this day? Yes. This day practice? Mm -hmm. Karate this morning. Okay, thank you. Okay, Kevin, and then we go with Flor. Okay, Kevin, if you're not ready, let's go with Flor and then Cesar. Uh, number three. Okay. Did she have a bath yesterday? Thank you very much. Okay, and we go now with Cesar. Number and five. We go with Fatim. Uh, Cesar and Elia. Okay, five, Cesar. Mm, yes. And uh, did Roland, Roland visit the Tower of London? Okay, good one. Thank you. Okay. We go with Elia with number two, please. Did Claire to fish the Houses work. Okay, finish. Fin Sin finish. el tú. El ah. tú es infinitivo y aquí no estamos usando infinitivo, ¿verdad? Eso es okay. como parece. Thank you very much. Uh, very simple exercises in here. And now here we have some others. Tenemos otros. Um, here we have this. Um, we have to write questions in simple past. Tenemos que escribir eh, pues, las preguntas. But first, we have to order the words. Tenemos que ordenar las palabras. Besides that, you have to add did. Tenemos que ordenar las palabras, pero también tenemos que agregarle did al inicio. Here we have number one. Anna, the window open. So, eh, did Anna open the window? Did was not in this uh, line. Did no estaba acá. Entonces, eh, por lo tanto, se tenía que agregar para formar preguntas. Ok. So, in this case, we're going to start with Marvin and then Douglas. Ok, Marvin, 
from two to 10, select one. Number two. Okay. Did she walk home? Thank you. Did she walk home? Very nice. Douglas and Fernando. Uh, number five. Thank did you. She, did she sit on, on a chair? On a chair. Mm -hmm. Bien, hay una cantante que se llama Cher. Cher. Pues, ajá, pues así se escribe. Así se pronuncia, perdón. Did she sit on a chair? Thank you. Fernando, and after Fernando, we go with Rosa. Please, my friend. Okay, number three. three. Did you work in the garden? Okay, good one. Okay, very nice. And we go now with Rosa. And after Rosa, we go with Jose. Did she? Uh, what number? number Always eight. say the number. Eight. Okay, eight. Okay. Did she be happy? Mm, en este caso, como es be, no se utiliza el did. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verb be? En presente. Ese sería, is she happy? Pero en lugar de she, vamos a utilizar otra palabra que le expliqué ayer. Any idea? Was. Ok, very nice. It, it is was. She happy. Ok, uh, we go now with Jose and then Juan. Ok, sería seven. Ok, let's go with seven. Uh, yeah, the Jenny, look the lock. door. Mm -hmm. Lock the door. The door, yes. Cuando decimos the lock door. es eh, cerrar con llave. Because close or shut ¿Verdad? Shut es cerrar. Close, cerrar. Pero lock the door is with a key. Es con una llave. O cuando le ponen seguro. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we go with Juan. And after number Juan, six. we go with Janet. Okay, let's go with number six. Did you... Yep. The castle visit? Castle. Did you visit? The castle. Yeah, the castle. Thank you. And number four. Number four. Did and then you Giselle. Sing, did you sing a song? Okay, very good one. And Gisela, and after Gisela, we go with Mario. Gisela, hey. aquí. Number nine. Nine or ten. Okay, nine. Okay. Um, with Greg. 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 Kick the ball. Thank you. And what about Mario? Are you there, Mario? Always teaching. Oh, that's nice. What about um, number 10? Can you help us? Yes. Did the car stop at the corner? Okay. At, okay, at the corner. Ah, sorry. At, at, at. Uh -huh. Yes. Now that okay. you're talking about car, thank you, Mario. I remember okay. that. I don't know if you will have seen a lot of accidents on Facebook or on Twitter or on the social media. I don't know what is going on, but these days have, uh, have been like very crazy. I bastante accidentes. So be careful, my friends. People, people are crazy. La gente anda disparada. Okay, um, let's listen to some others about this. Mention your favorite toy when you were a kid, okay? So let's listen now to Cesar and then Douglas. Okay, Cesar, what was your favorite toy? My favorite toys was a uh, Max Steel. Oh, good. Max Steel. Mm -hmm. Do you have it mm, nowadays? 
¿Todavía lo tienes? Sí, tengo uno todavía. Ok, that's a good memory. Very nice. Thank you. What about Douglas and then Elia? Douglas, what was uh, your favorite toy? Yes, uh, I don't know. The bi bicycle is a toy. Yeah, a bicycle is a toy, my, my of course. Toy was a bicycle. Yeah, it's one of the best ones. Bicycles are always nice. Perfect. Yes. Okay, Elia, and then we go with Flor. My favorite toy was doll. A doll, mm -hmm. yeah, dolls are kind of common for girls. Always good. Thank you. And here you have Flor and then Gisela. My favorite toy was a Barbies. Oh, okay, Barbies, oh. yes. I don't know how many did you have. One Barbie, two Barbies, three or more? Three. I three have Barbies. three. Okay. <laughs> Very nice because you could dress her. La podrías como cambiar. That was makeup, dressing, that different. Le corté el pelo a una. <laughs> Pensando no le que le iba a crecer. Okay. Ya le no. hubiera echado sábila. <laughs> well, it was, uh, it was for sign. Fue por la honor a la ciencia. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Flor. Gisela and then Flor. Eh, Gisela and then Fernando. Okay, okay. Gisela, what about you? Again. <laughs> ah, um, no, you already, you already said, right? Yes, the tazos. Tazos, I'm sorry. <laughs> sí, pero como estamos hablando que le quitaba los tazos a todos. Okay, no, yeah, no. Pero soy... Team Camperonics también, igual que Carla. Team Camperonics. Yo no, ya no alcancé eso. Ya estaba viejo. Este, ¿no? Ay. Uh, yo hice que mi madre me comprara el, el cassette, o sea, era un VH. Uh -huh. Era la película. Cierto. Okay, yo solo se a mi tío. <risa> Todos los juguetes le quitaba. Y cuando me visitaba, me lo volvía a quitar. <risa> Ay, Carly. Pero Imagínate. <risa> Mira, qué bonita. Cleptómana. Ok. Se te pegaban, bro. Se te pegaban. Ok. Nice. I couldn't play with Camperonics because I was a teenager. Creo que ya era adolescente con Camperonics. Ya. Yeah. Pero well, la, la niñez interior todavía ya estaba aquí. Ok. Yes. Pero Ahí estaba. Bien. La, la inocencia. Ok. Eh, what about um, Fernando? Well, in my case, my favorite toy was uh, Hot Wheel cars. Uh, good ones, yes. Hot Wheels were uh, maybe the best cars in uh, in that uh, period of time. Good ones, and there were a lot of models. That that was one of the advantages. Yeah. Okay, thank you. What about Kevin, and then Mario? Okay, we don't have Kevin. Okay, Mario, what about Hello, you? Teacher. What was okay, Kevin? Tell us about your uh, favorite toy. Um, remote, remote controlling, uh, remote controlling car. Ah, uh, explosive. Sí. Explosive. Mm, okay. Explosivo de a control remoto. What do you mean? Sí. Yes. Ok. Very interesting. Interesting toys. Ok. Bueno, parte de la niñez de Kevin. Mario Ramos. Hello, teacher. Hello, what about your toys? My favorite toy was uh, Pokémon. And I have a, a case with. Oh, Hecho. really good. Nice. Okay, and so imagine. I have another bowl. <laughs> okay, how many how many years uh, does those toys have? 20 years, 15 years? This one, 10 years. 10 years, okay? Yes. Very interesting. It's good memories. Okay, maybe in the future, or I uh, know your kids can play with it. So maybe. Mm -hmm. No or, teacher. 
No, no. Es para, eso no es para jugar. Tocable. Ok, nice. Yes, we, I, I guess we have some very special, special. toys. And yes. those are just look just for uh, yeah, contribute to the house to decorate its decorations. You can put it right in a, on a shelf. Son casi sagrados, Sí, lo puedes poner en un yes. eh, on a shelf. Así ahí, como los que venían en, en, en los de la Maricel. Ajá, en los bimbo. Eso yo no, I didn't play with that. I had yelocos. Yo estuve los yelocos. Ah, I don't know if you remember from Coca-Cola. Los cholitos. Ah, yes. Coca-Cola también. Ok. Yes. ¿Qué decir, José? Los ositos de la Coca-Cola también. Ah, ah really? los ositos. Sí. Ay, Ay, esto. <risa> Ay, Dios. Este hombre sabe. <risa> Este, este Mario venía preparado para lo loco también. Sí. Fui a abrir el baúl, piche. Y yo creo que ahí lo tiene. Ahí lo tiene el baúl a la par. A la par solo saca uno tras uno. No, no voy a sacar un cadáver ahí, Mario. I love Coca-Cola, teacher. So I have different things. Me too. Like yes. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola had like also a collection of cars. También había una colección de carros. Como camisitos también había. Camisitos. Pero eso ya no tengo ya. También no, estaban los, los, los hielo locos. Los hielo locos. Hielo locos, sí, eran unos como extraterrestres que en teoría eran como juguetitos, pero en realidad yo después de un tiempo me enteré que se metían a la refri y se, se ponían a, el, a helar y servían para helar las bebidas, no para jugar. Hasta ahorita que me entero. Sí, yo, yo lo leí por ahí que no eran juguetes. Por eso se llamaban hielo locos. Mario, no tenés uno por ahí. No, <ríe> Sorry. Okay. Helando la Coca-Cola con un hielo loco. La Coca-Cola. O, o ya no toman Coca-Cola. Sí, ahí tengo una Coca-Cola. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Somos inocentes, teacher. Ajá. Ah. A Coca-Cola with something else, with anything else. Yes. Búsquenlos. <laughs> ok. Ya voy a ver. Voy a investigar, Gisela, <laughs> a ver si no nos está mintiendo, mujer. No, vamos no nos está mintiendo. Ok, ya vamos a ver. Yo tengo como dos, pero a saber dónde los tengo, pero sí tengo dos. Ok. Teacher, the last one. I have a Coca-Cola to compare, to share with, with. All of, all of you. This okay. Way. Ah, come on, yes. So Ay, you are, qué cosita. Okay, you are really Coca-Cola fan, Mario. Yes, teacher. Yo tenía un arbolito, mi mami ponía un arbolito que daba vueltas y tenía lucitas. Y era todo de plástico y le decía Coca-Cola por todos lados. O sea, sí, chiquito. Okay. Nice, we have good memories. No, buenos recuerdos todos. Ahora entiendo, uh, now I understand why Mario is not going to share. No va a compartir sus juguetes. Dice. <laughs> Nunca por... creo. No, no. Si se Ahí muere, le mandé van a ir los hielos locos. Los... Ahí les mandé los hielos locos al WhatsApp. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I have two of them. Yo tengo dos. Toda la colección. Y esos son para enfriar. ¿Será? Sí, se meten a la refri y se ponen a, o sea, se congelan, pues. Creo que el centro era de como de gel, por eso que helaban. Ajá. Ya. Pero yo los usaba para jugar. Como todo, creo que tenemos colecciones y todo. Sí. Para jugar. Ya lo voy a ver este 24 y 31 con sus pasitos sí. ahí. Y los, los juguetitos. Ok. Nice. Todos los días se aprende algo nuevo. Ok. You can learn something else every day. Ok. And we go with this. Here we have a puzzle. Tenemos esta sopa de letra. This is a puzzle. Talking about the company, here we have some words. Let me see. 
No. No, maybe you can see. Okay, we have industry, we have staff, networking, branch, guest, headquarters, mall talk, manufacture, personnel, expertise. Uh, I need you to tell me where you can find these words. Okay, this, as I told you, I have, as I have told you before, this is across. You tell me the number, for, for example, four, you tell me the word, then you say four across, or you can say the word four down, and I'm going to look for it. Okay, here we have Mario is the first one, and then here we have Carly. Okay, Mario. Okay, number um, two down. What's the, what's the word? Two Manufacture. down. Manufacture, yes. Manufacture, uh, yes. Thank you. Here we have Carly and Juan. In, in the nine. Down. Across, across or down? Across. Mm -hmm. Nine across. Branch. Yes. Branch, that's it. Okay, good. Juan, okay, Juancito. Industry. Industry, good one. Yes. De la S que está a la derecha, a la columna T. Okay. Ah, number three. Number three. Eh, I. Okay. Exactly. Industry. Industry. Thank you, very nice industry. Okay, uh, here we have uh, Jose Mauricio. And then what about Fernando? Ay, todavía no tengo una, estoy buscando. Vamos, vamos, okay. Uh, Kevin and Fernando, okay, Kevin? Number one, personal. Okay, number one, personal. Thank you. Fernando, and let's see who else. I'm looking for a word. Okay, you. no problem. Let's listen to Flor, maybe. Eh, ya tengo una. Sí. Okay. Okay. Eh, number okay. one. Number one, Flor, and then. Eh, do a small talk. Small talk, thank you. Okay, Jose. 11, experience. Expertise. Es <laughs> mm -hmm. Expertise is experience, yeah? It's like experience. Okay, thank you. So we have uh, four more words. Who else? 12, esto. 12. Esta, solo que está al revés. Esta, ahí. Yes, stuff. Good one. Networking. Networking. What number? Eleven. Eleven to two two. Okay. Eleven. Networking. Thank you. Here we have networking. Um, we here have headquarters and guests. Any volunteer? Headquarters. Headquarters. Twelve. Of course. Headquarters. Of course. Yes. And get. I have one. Number I have a guest. Two. What? Who? Two Number two. two. I have a guest. No? Yes. I backwards in reverse. The reversa. Mr. Canton, the reverse of mommy. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Good. Good job, my friends. So we completed this. And let's see what do we have here. Here we have some uh, words, for example, oversee. It's a synonym for uh, supervise, manufacture, supervise, being in charge of network. It says, write five information questions in simple present, use the verbs from the box. Maybe you can mention one, okay? Mention one 
uh, question using these words in present, utilizando estas palabras en present. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute. Try to do uh, with the word that you consider like easy, supervised, being charge of, okay, manufacture. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute and then I'm going to ask you if you're ready about uh, your question. Okay, uh, let's uh, check if you have some questions about this. Any volunteer? Oversee, manufacture, supervise, be in charge of? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Juan and Marvin. Okay. In my office, we have very secure network Okay, you have very like secure network. Thank you. Marvin, okay. what about you? And then Carly. How many people do you supervise? Good one. How many people do you supervise? Excellent question, Carly and Flor. Okay, I'm in charge of the embroidered, embroidered fabric furniture. Okay, good, thank you. I'm in charge, uh, Flor and Fernando. Did you manufacture the wallet? Okay, manufactured the wallet, good. And Fernando, very nice. Fernando and Cesar, thank you, Flor. Okay, maybe Fernando is not ready. Uh, let's listen to Cesar and Mario. Did you sur supervise person in your job? Go, did you supervise people in your job? Okay, employees, perfect. And who else? Uh, Mario and Jose Mauricio. Hey, did you oversee all activities on the camp? Good, very specific. Jose, Mauricio, and... No, 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 teacher, perdón. Mm -hmm. vamos a... Already. No, 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 no. Ok, preguntas con cualquiera de esas palabras. Mm. Ok, I'm going to give you time. Elia, maybe do, do we have Elia and Noé? Not ready, Elia. Ok, what about... No, Noé? Eh... Is she the advice of the person? Okay. Uh, Odalis, Gisela. Person. Okay. What about um, Gisela? Era hacer preguntas, teacher. Sí, algunos me han dicho oraciones, but, but if you can have a uh, question, perfect. Uh, 
que eh, es que yo había puesto eh, eh, we said ancestor oversee a mechanic okay that's nice what, what matters is the use of the word lo que importa es el uso de la palabra thank you okay. Okay, I don't know if Odalis is ready with Kevin no okay Kevin maybe with Oscar Okay, teacher. Yo dos oraciones dice. Okay, please, Oscar. Go ahead. I work as a supervisor. Uh, two, I need to tell why manufacturing. Okay, very, hey, very nice. Thank you. Okay, gracias. So, and let's have a listening exercise, please. Uh, please uh, pay attention and try to write as many words or phrases as you can. Just give me a second. Okay, let's listen. Hi, excuse me. Yes. Where's the library? The library is next to the registration office. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm new. Where's the registration office? No problem. See the building over there? Yes. Okay, so that's the lecture theater. Next to that, on the right, is the registration office. And next to that, is the library. I see. Thanks. Thanks. Le okay, let's listen again. Hi, excuse me. Yes. Where's the library? The library is next to the registration office. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm new. Where's the registration office? No problem. See the building over there? Yes. Okay, so that's the lecture theater. Next to that, on the right, is the registration office. And next to that, is the library. I see. Thanks. Okay, so in this case, let's listen to some of you words, okay? First, let's start in this case with Janet and Elia. Any particular word? Or words? Um, office, no problem. Excuse me, right? Thanks. Okay, very nice. Elia, and then we go with Flor. No problem. This, um, this cloud is building. Thanks. Okay, Flor. Uh, hi, excuse me. What's the library? Sorry, no problem. Building right next. Library. Okay, thank you. And what about if we have in this case to um, Juancito? What do you have? Okay. Hi, excuse me. Yes, was library. No problem. Over there. Registration office is the library thing. Very good. And okay. what about Mario? Hello, teacher. Hello, uh, the Mario. Words e -R. Hi, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Where is the library? Mm -hmm. uh, registration office, building over there. I see. Thanks. Okay, very nice. 
very simple. As you can see, it was a short conversation, but with a lot of easy words. Excuse me, has where the library, okay? Library, right. bookshop, bookshop es la tienda de libros. Nosotros cuando decimos librería, pensamos que library es librería, pero library es biblioteca, ok? Para decir librería de venta de, 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 de todos los materiales es bookshop, tienda de libros. But the library is biblioteca. So that's it. And so the library is next to the registration office and then easy words. Yeah. All of them, I guess, when the Simon see the building over there, over there significa por ahí. ¿Ves el edificio por allá? Por ahí. Okay. There, allí, allá, ahí. ¿Verdad? So over there, when we want to point, cuando queremos señalar algo. Okay. Un objeto, un lugar. Over there, por allá. Okay. So very easy topic. And here we have this very interesting question. Where did you grow up and what do you remember the most? Okay. Donde naciste y que recuerdas más? Okay. Very interesting. And for this, we're going to start with Flor. Okay, Flor. And after Flor, we go with uh, Mario, please, my friends. Okay, Flor, tell us. Uh, I agree. I grew up. Grew up. I grew Where up. I grew up the the Libertad Department the Libertad. What I remember the most is who played as uh, Mika High mm -hmm. and Chic healthy games that are not seen nowadays. Yes, healthy games. Hide and seek. Mm -hmm. uh, Mika and Mika is similar to Pasala, right? Uh -huh. Escondelero. Actually, uh, Escondelero, yes. Landa. Yes. <laughs> Arranca cebolla. Ladr <laughs> Ladrón librado. Yes. Imagine the curious names. Arranca cebolla. Imagine. Uh, I don't know. Mika, actually, I don't know what is the meaning of Mika. I don't know. Is the female of Miko, no sé si es por Miko, Mika, si es una mona, o I don't know. Also, they're very interesting, but yeah. Healthy games. Thank you, Flor. Let's listen to Mario and Carly. I grew up in Santa Ana. <laughs> okay, in nice. The... No se le escucha, Mario. Se congeló. ¿Lo perdimos? Sí, se congeló, creo. Mario se quedó no, como foto, foto, foto de perfil, así. ¿verdad? Creo que se nos congela uno a diario. Ayer fue el teacher. De... <risa> Qué tradición. Yo creo que es para, para yes. guardar un poco de juventud, ¿eh? Para que nos recuerden, ¿eh? Ok. Creo que Mario... el hombre. Sí, inspirado. Creo que Mario estaba contándonos ahí todos sus sentimientos. Toda su, su historia de amor y nosotros queriendo saber. Mario. No, sorry, teacher. I lost the connection. Yes. Eh, no, ya ven que hasta llorando. Estaba recordando el hombre aquí. <risa> inspirado. Quiero llorar I'm sorry. pegado y nadie lo oyó. Sí, hombre. I'm sorry, Mario. We couldn't listen to you. I grew up in Santa Ana with uh, my many friends and we have the similar age so we played soccer in a dust match uh, como una cancha de polvo polvo uh -huh. and the uh, goals are um, bottles of soda oh, or okay. sometimes yeah. with backpack uh, that is the most uh, <laughs> Of piedras. Have, of, yeah. Piedras. <laughs> well, uh, actually, when 
when we were kids and playing and then like drinking soda or whatever, playing whatever, it was really, really nice. And you don't remember, but there was the last match. Hubo un último partido, hubo un último juego. You didn't know that it was the last. Right? The last we do. Uh, we did. The last we, we did. did. Uh, the last we did was play with different uh, pasajes. I don't know how do you say in English. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, you can say holes. holes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the holes are, no, the hole has a team. So the uh, best. It was a, like a team. championship. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes. <laughs> all very interesting. Yes, be, because of, of the houses, the, the quantity of families and all those. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Interesting, interesting, Mary. Thank you. Okay. Here we go with Carly and then Noé. Okay. I grew up in, in San Marcos. I moved okay. about six times, but always in San Marcos. So I had a lot of friends and I like played with my uncle and my uncle's friends. Mm -hmm. They were old, older than me. But anyways, yo ahí iba detrás de ellos. Okay. I remember that we played uh, soccer in my grandmother's uh, garden. And we made a goal of bamboo. Bamboo, bamboo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Igual. Uh -huh. Of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> and I played uh, with him, with them, all days after school okay. era, era muy inquieta. <laughs> you were sí. era. <laughs> you were <laughs> era dice ah, era. <laughs> i remember yes. uh, you uh, are my mom mother. cooked <laughs> my mom cooked um um cómo se dice variado uh, but, uh, uh, mixed or variety variety of a uh, variety menu okay uh, but uh, when when she was uh, cooking <laughs> I, I stole the food food yeah little by little. i hid under the table okay <laughs> and you you used to eat it under solo the sacaba table. la manito así y veía que agarraba <laughs> y ahí nada pasó <laughs> Qué bueno que no te pegaron porque. Sí, ahí caso, todavía me quería, pegaron. todavía no estaba mi hermano. Ah, ok, you were the favorite. You were the favorite. Mira, ahí lo tenés. Ok, Carly, thank you. Me quería. Eso salió del corazón. Thank you. Ok, eh, Noé. En After Noé, we go with Abel. Ok. I grew up in Olocuilta, a little town. Uh, I remember the most the beer days in the in the grandmother's house yeah. uh, because I have a family huge. Mm -hmm. A huge family. The, a huge family. Uh, this remember okay good no and uh, if you notice celebrations when we are kids uh, especially birthdays are always amazing siempre han sido como bien increíbles and like uh, we remembered with a lot of uh, feeling with melancholy or with a lot of love because mm -hmm. we never forget that no no se olvida so very nice way? Yeah, the best moments, yeah, because you have your family, your uncle, your grandma, all mm -hmm. of them are alive. There, are, there is full music. Yeah, yeah. it's interesting. This uh, the maybe one of the best moments in our life. Okay, let's listen now to Abel, and then we go with Gisela. Okay, teacher, I have lived here for twenty six years of, of my life, but 
I only, only remember playing Nintendo with my cousins. Very only nice. Them. Yes, but a good memory because and to, I don't know if you noticed, but when there were there was a Nintendo, you couldn't spend two hours, three hours playing and everything yeah. was nice. Yeah. Maybe you can yeah. have some soda, some snacks, and you were like time passed yeah. by very fast. <laughs> ah, no, no homework. homework. No homework, <laughs> yes. The time was not enough. <laughs> Nunca era suficiente el tiempo. Yes. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Abel. We go with Gisela and then Marvin. Um, <laughs> I grew up. I grew up in, in Tanique. I'm sorry? Tanique. 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 Ah, tal. Tanique. Uh -huh. Okay. Tanique is um, the liberty and the libertad. I remember that um, my family, my friends, my cousin, and I go um, with my grandfather a uh, coffee plantation. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's a good memory because you were to work, ibas a trabajar. Uh, no, I'll accompany my abuelo. <laughs> okay, very nice. But you remember of the plantations when there is a farm, it is really big territory. Mm -hmm. Big. And you could have, maybe sometimes you could climb. A veces uno podría trepar, subirse. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's really nice. And you could run from one place to another, and that's a good memory. Yes, I, I have like a similar memory. Thank you, Thank you. Yes, it, that's amazing. And if there were some other trees with fruits, you could take it. Si había otros árboles frutales, los tomabas. En, eh, oranges, tangerines, ¿verdad? Naranjas, yeah, mandarín, mangoes. Yes, why not? <laughs> yes, all those things. It's really, really uh, amazing. Okay, my friends, we're going to continue later. I know, ya sé que están como melancólicos, but... Um, we have this. This is like uh, like a puzzle, but in this case, I need you to uh, select one of the of these verbs and pronounce it. Necesito que lo pronuncien. Si ustedes me dicen, por ejemplo, qué palabra, por ejemplo, ejemplo, joke. En pasado sería joke. Okay, sería joke is joke porque la pronunciación final con ed todos tienen ed. Can you notice all of them have ed? So there are three types of pronunciation with d, id, or t. Y esto lo vimos en una clase donde yo les envié esta imagen. Se recuerdan que les envié esa imagen que hay. We have three types of pronunciation. So if you want to check this uh, image, you, you, can do, you can do it. Uh, try to notice the ending sound. Vean sonido final. Vean donde, en qué termina. Si termina en S, en X, en N, en E, D, okay, en R, en T. So depending on that, the pronunciation changes. Dependiendo de eso, la pronunciación cambia. Okay, so I'm going to give you like one minute to check it. If you want to, to see the, the picture, si quieren ver la imagen que les habían mandado en WhatsApp, denle una revisada. I'm going to ask you in a minute. En un minuto les pregunto. Okay. And as a recommendation, try to look for three or four. Busquen como tres o cuatro que pueden decir. Porque a veces le ganan las respuestas. Pues el teacher les iba a decir yo, me la ganaron. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. Vamos a revisar.
Oh, okay, we're going to start with Juancito because he is so ready. Nació listo, dice Juan. Okay, Juancito. No. Not ready. No, teacher. Fine. <laughs> okay, uh, what's the word that What's the verb? ¿Tienes algún verbo en específico? Started. Started. Ok. Es, eh, aparece como started. Inferior, izquierda, fi, izquierda, inferior. Started. Ok, izquierda. Y yes. start. Yes, start. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta? Started. Mm, se pronuncia started. Tear. Oh, ok. Started. started. Thank you. Very nice. Let's listen to um, Oscar. And after Oscar, we go with Janet. Okay. What a pointer. Uh, okay. Yes. Pronouns hmm? pointed. Yeah. Pointed. Thank you. Pointed. Okay. Point. Todo lo que termine en T va a sonar como in. Pointed. Okay. okay. Uh, what about Janet? And then we go with Cesar. Light. Ok, light. Ajá. En este caso con ED, ¿cómo suena? Light. Yes. No sé. Light. Ok, and we go now with Star, and then we go with Flor. Use it. Ok. Uh -huh. How do you pronounce it? Use it. O en este caso es use. Use. Conté. Uh -huh. Use. Uh -huh. uh, let's listen to Flor and then we go with Carly. Uh, kissed. Ok, la palabra kissed se pronuncia. Kissed. Casi. Casi, casi. Y la estoy buscando. Mira. Okay. Ahí está. Como cuando termina con S. Se pronuncia con T, igual que used, used, kissed, 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 yeah, ya ves, te sale bien, kissed. Ok, Carly, and then we go with José. Okay. Dressed. Oh, okay. Under, kissed. Under, ya se me olvidó, ah, dress, ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, dressed. Yeah, dressed. Thank you. Uh, we go with Jose and then we go with Mario. Love. Sería okay. Loved. Yes, loved. Conde, loved. And um, thank you, Mario. And then we go with um, Marvin. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, happened. Okay, very nice. Happened. How do you pronounce it? Happened. Yes, happened. Okay. Very good. Okay, who's next? Marvin, and then we go with Noé. Rush. Can you repeat it, please? Ah, rush. Uh huh. Rush. Conte, rushed. Okay. Um, Noé, and then we go with Douglas. Uh, united. Okay, good. United. United. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's listen to Douglas and Abel. Hated. Hated. Yes, hated. Thank you. Abel, and then we go with Fernando. Okay, teacher, this cycle. Yes, cycled. Good. In this case, here we have cycle con the cycle. Thank you. And we go now with um Abel, verdad? Oh, ya pasaste. Fernando. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Invited. Yes. Invited. Thank you. Uh, what about who else? Rosa and Kevin. Okay, maybe Rosa not. Kevin, Elia. Okay, Some Kevin. Are, um, 
Esta es fired. Ajá, ok. Ah. Ok, fired, que es esta misma. Uh -huh. Con de fired. Elia, what about you? Parque. Parque. Ajá, en este caso es con te park. Ok. Park. Yes, park. Yeah, that's it. Y nos hacen falta otras. Por ejemplo, vaya, las que terminan con T. Vamos a ver, Juancito. De estas que terminan con T, cualquiera de estas. ¿Qué te dice tu corazón? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? White. Ajá, wait sería eso. Wait. Ajá. Va, en este caso lo vamos a pronunciar con wait it. Is. Wait it. Yes, wait, wait it. it. Igual que aquí. United, igual. Este eh, es que es rush. Rush. Uh -huh. Rush. Park. Yes. Y tenemos out. On. On the. Yeah, y en switch. Switch. Yes, I know that this is kind of confusing sometimes, but we have to be clear on this. Debemos de tener claro en esto, que solo son tres tipos de pronunciaciones, ¿ok? D, I, D, O, T. Ok, and what do we have here? Veamos qué tenemos acá. Order the words to create positive, negative, and interrogative statements in simple past. So... If you notice there is a question mark, si un signo de pregunta, definitely that's a question. If you notice didn't, it is an, uh, a negative sentence. Si no ven ni tampoco esto, ni esto, that's affirmative. Okay? Take a look at this and I'm going to ask you about these five questions. Pero se trata de ordenarlas. Ordenar las palabras. Okay, do we have volunteers? Pero nos quedan 30 minutos de clase. This is going to have pass, kind of pass. Va a pasar un poquito rápido, ¿ok? Uh, number one. What do we have, number one? Uh, did you enjoy the training? Yes. Thank you, Douglas. Did you enjoy the training? That's number one. What about two, three, four, and five? Number two. What about number two? The manager didn't attend the seminar? Yes. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Okay, thank you, uh, Marvin. So here we have three, four, and five. Any other volunteer? Number three, teacher. Number three, please. Juancito, let's go. The personal data. Mm -hmm. Train. Maintenance certification. Okay. Mm. The certification. Okay. In this case, maybe the maintenance person. The mm -hmm. main person. Maintenance. Uh, maintenance or maintenance uh, person. Personal data certification. Yes. Yo, tan importante que son las certificaciones. Come on. Nowadays, is, that's so, so important, right? Especially the international ones, of course. And what about four and five? Thank you, Juancito. Four and five. Any other volunteer? Four, teacher. Four. four. Okay, let's go with four. Uh, did the supervisor exchange uh, business cards? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. 
Did the supervisor exchange business cards? Thank you. And what about number five? That, that's the last one. Any brave volunteer, algún voluntario? Okay. So what about if we listen this case to Janet? Okay, Juan. Juan, do you want to complete it? Decent. Uh, decent. Uh, word, second word. Did not. Mm -hmm. Didn't no va al inicio porque Didn't. como es negativo. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Sería. My. My workmate. My workmate. Mm -hmm. My workmate. Aquí va la negativa. Did not. Add mm -hmm. Conversation network. Didn't uh, network. Mm -hmm. Network. Mm -hmm. The conversation. Con convention. Ah, convention. Yo también pensé que decía conversation. Sí. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank Creo you, my friends. Creo que es la memoria fotográfica. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Conversation. It was the conversation. Okay, and let's listen to where did you grow up and what do you remember the most? And let's listen in this case to Jose Mauricio and then Juancito. Okay, okay. Jose. I, I grew, grew up. Grew up. Mm -hmm. grew, I grew, grew up. up. Mm -hmm. En Hilo Vasco. Okay. Uh, I, I remember the coffee uh, trees. Uh, the morning aroma uh, of. Okay. Café tostado, o no sé cómo. Yeah, yeah. Toasted co uh, coffee. Toasted coffee. Toasted coffee. Yes. Ah, it is like a breeze. Era como una brisa que tú sentías. Sí, Café pero llegó la roya posteriormente. Entonces, todos los, los cultivos de, de café se perdieron y como el precio bajó también. Yes, the, unfortunately, there are some circumstances that happened. And yeah. And there are some very specific memories, and sometimes the memories are related to smells, to one of the senses. A veces esas eh, imágenes mentales que tenemos están relacionadas también con, con algún sentido, right? Sí. So, okay, thank you. Sí, okay, very nice. Eh, Juancito, and after Juan, we're going to listen to... Cesar. Okay, okay, teacher. I grew up in uh, San Miguel. Okay, San Michael. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, San Michael City. <laughs> I remember the when we went to it with the husband of one of my sister. Okay. A real order chicken meat, and I order beef soup with avocado. Okay. Or avocado. Avocado. Mm -hmm. e, and I away ask the same thing. Siempre pedía lo mismo. Okay, really nice. <laughs> the, is that your favorite food? Is it your favorite food or not? Not really. No, uh, I have six, seven years old. Uh, but you remember that? Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Todos comiendo así grande, y yo siempre pedía sopa frijoles con aguacate. Okay, bean soup. <laughs> yes, it is like no, but that's so delicious, especially if you have toasted tortillas. If you have tortillas tostadas, or yes. maybe you have queso. peas, queso, crema. crema. Mm, that's that's delicious, definitely. Yes. That tasty, and yes, talking about it, um, we had that type of 
period, periods of time in which uh, you remember a special and maybe you can imagine the dish as a, the, the imagina el plato sometimes, right? When you remember, yes, okay. Exactly. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's uh, really uh, incredible. I remember once when I went to a farm of my grandmother's cousin, I guess, primo de mi abuela, and they they used to have cows, tenían vacas. So when they uh, extracted the milk from the cows, the milk was warm. La leche estaba tibia. Okay, and I don't know if that was healthy. No sé qué tan saludable era eso, but I remember that I, I used to drink it. It was really good. Of course, with sugar. But bueno, yeah. depende. Si, si la limpiaban bien la ubre, realmente sí era saludable, pero mm. en la naturaleza, al final, cuántas bacterias yeah. pueden andar. No, claro. Pero igual, usted lo hizo en su momento, hasta yo lo hice. <risa> yeah, ya estamos. Hecho, estamos vivos y coleando. Yes. Oh, ah, sí. no. Bueno, sí. yo también. Vaya, José, otro que también. Yeah, sí. I guess it's, it is like something that you, you did. Bueno, que yo hasta de cabra. O lo, lo de hice. Cabra, ¿no? Exacto. Okay, de cabra. O yes. tamal de elote. Ok. Something that José mentioned is a tortilla tostada with milk and a little bit of salt. Y poquito de sal, that's so delicious. That's... Sí, gran cosa. <laughs> eso y añádale tamal de lote en todo eso. La tortilla tostada, el tamal de lote. Really? Es... Tamal de lote con eso. Yes. <laughs> Creo que no me sé. falta vivir. Me falta vivir entonces. Creo okay. que es mejor que la sopa de, de, de guineo o de, o de plátano. Que no, eh, esa, eh, esa sopa de plátano. Que me pague mejor para... I guess <risa> <it> is... <risa> no, ¿quién, fue, ¿Quién fue la de eso? Gisela. Gisela, creo yo. Giselita sí, fue la de la sopa. Creo que sí. Todavía no me pasa eso. No dormí bien anoche. Ok. Nice. Bueno. Thanks for, for, Gisela, for sharing. Pasó Giselita, que se hizo. Creo que estaba doliente un momento, pero. Ajá. O está preparando otras, otro sopón. Maybe. We don't know. No. Actually, we don't know. Ok, let's go with César and then Janet. Uh, César, what about you? Where did uh, you grow up? I grew up in Santa Tecla. Ok. Uh, Every afternoon I play in with my friends. Uh, do you remember playing Ule? Ule. Mm -hmm. Who was it? No. No, no sé. I don't know if it is about jumping. No sé si es, se salta. Sí, es uno que saltaba. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, I know. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Very interesting. And some of the games that you mentioned nowadays are not played. Como, como Flor dijo, ya no se juega. Ya. No, ni existe. No, they, no, unfortunately. Y, y eran realmente saludables. O sea, físicamente uno tenía más, más actividad. Ok. Yes. Eh, y todo eso. But, well, that's it. And let's listen to Janet. And then we go with... Um, Elia. I grew up in and Cinco departments, Cuscatlan. I know Tenancingo. Yes, ya conozco ahí. Okay. Yes, Janet. Um, uh, when we were, we went with my mom to cut banana leaves to okay. sell um, the, to make tamales. Ah, tamales, yes, definitely good, a good memory, because it is like the beginning of the preparation, it's all process, the process, all process, de que lo van a cortar, de que lo están preparando, it is good, because you learn, aprendiste, you learned. Nowadays, uh, it is very common to buy, it. solo comprarlo ya hecho los tamales, right? It is very common, 
but it is not the same when you prepare cuando tú lo preparas desde antes okay so thank you Janet very nice yes ten and cinco yes okay I I remember I visited ten and cinco like five years ago five or six okay thank mm -hmm. you we go now with Elia I don't know if you are there there Elia and then Douglas hello um I grew up, up in San Miguel. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> I remember uh, most um, like Biden and play in the river and like with my grandfather. Okay. Yeah, rivers are maybe one of the best places to play when you're a kid. Cuando eres niño, los ríos son de lo mejor, yes. Exactly. Very nice. Uh, there are some, even my, my father uh, used to say, or nowadays, well, he, he mentioned sometimes that Rio Aselguate, a couple of decades ago, as un par de décadas, it was kind of clean, más o menos limpio. And even people used to, uh, yes, swim in there, as, 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 se bañaban y todo eso. So, Imagine how things Aquí change. En el Río Grande de San Miguel. Río Grande, Río Grande, el Río Grande es de los más, de los más importantes, right? Sí. Yes. Yes. In El Salvador, okay. Not the most important. Yes. I don't know uh, the quality of water nowadays. ¿Cómo está la calidad de agua? Ahí. Uh, Not that good. Mm, Not good. Bastante bien. Juancito que también es de San Michael. Mm -hmm. Sí, yo creo que se asemeja a la del río Lempa, la, de, Lempa. la del río Grande. Casi okay. que son idénticas. Ok, well, yes. Eh, y si ustedes vivieron eso, yo viví eso, me imagino the kids nowadays, it is difficult that they can enjoy, they could enjoy going to the river. Creo que va a ser más difícil ir al río, right? Because of the toxicity or it is not healthy, no es saludable. Okay, thank you for sharing and Douglas. Then we continue with the activities. Okay, Douglas, 15 minutes, 15 minutes and we finish, my friend. Almost, almost. I don't know if Douglas is uh, ready. Uh, not ready. No, okay. La verdad que no he entendido que, que, que vale la pregunta. Okay, Pro, la pregunta. Probable. El, oh, well, eh, te envía al eh, grupo de WhatsApp, no sé si la viste Douglas. Eh, sí, era, Ajá. era la palabra no la entendía, pero era como crecer, ¿verdad? No crecí, ¿verdad? Ajá, where do, did you, Ajá, entonces grew up es yo crecí, porque grow up es crecer, ¿verdad? Entonces okay. es un verbo irregular, uh -huh. grew, grew up. Ajá. Ok, eh, I grew up en San Salvador, en Apopa City. Um, I remember the most uh, like it is the it was the play play with my friends. Okay. Yes, definitely. Good memory playing with friends. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, now we go with what's the name of this song and. The person in charge, creo que la persona encargada es José Mauricio, right, José? Ya pasé. Ya pasé. <risa> no te creo, sí. son mentirosos. No has pasado. Gisela sí. pasó ayer. Antier. Ah, pues Imagine Dragons. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ya pasó. Es cierto, Imagine Dragons. Es cierto. Ok. So, también con la sesión pasaste, ¿verdad, José? Sí, okay. el viernes. Yeah. Yo digo antiguo y fue el viernes. No, ¿cuándo fue? Ajá. No sé. Okay. Bueno, la sesión fue ayer. Juancito ya pasó. Bueno, ni modo. Le tocaría a Yulisa, pero no sé si Yulisa va a estar available, así que vamos a dejar a Carly. Carly? No. I'm not prepared. No, for sure. Yes. Y no dijo que for hasta tomorrow. coreografía y, y no sé qué. Y yo vi que hasta se dio vuelta, creo, y yo dije, ya comenzó la coreografía. Uy, no, sí. ni, este, ni me acordaba. Yes. No, for tomorrow, Carly. So, ok, thank you. Eh, este guancito los agarra I'm que so marrupo, como que. Sí. <ríe> es malo. 
Gran okay, ataque. Good, good. Ya lo viste, que es malo. Ok. Ya va a cantar. Eh, we're going to do this. Eh, ya para ir terminando. 13 minutos y terminamos. We go with the reading activity. Vamos con la actividad de lectura que casi, bueno, pocas veces hacemos. So, here we have this. And it is like uh, routines. Son uh, rutina. It's like a paragraph talking about Tom. And, and information about Tom. So, let's read it. And then we're going to answer some questions that we have here. Okay, ya vamos a contestar algunas de estas preguntas. Okay, so let's uh, start in this case with um, Abel, can you help us on Sunday? And I'm going to show you when you're going to stop. Okay, you're going to stop here. Okay, teacher. On Sunday, Tom get up at 10 o'clock. Then he read his newspaper in the kitchen. He has breakfast at 11.30 and then he telephones his mother in Scotland. Scotland, Scotland. Yes, okay, that's it, very nice. Yes, let's, good, no problem. Let's listen now to, what if we have the help of Mario? And then, no, okay, Mario, in the afternoon, If you're okay, Mario. If no, no problem. Let's listen to Noe. If you're available, Noe. Okay, teacher. In the afternoon. In the afternoon at one o'clock, Tom plays tennis with his sister. And after that, they eat dinner in a restaurant. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Okay, let's listen now to Juan. At six. Okay. At six, don't shrink for one hour and uh, uh and then he goes by bike to him brothers house they tell and uh, listen to music. Thank you very much. And we have Janet Tom watches. Tom watches the television in the evening and drinks a glass of warm milk. He goes to bed at uh, 11.30. Okay, very nice. And let's uh, check the questions here. Vamos a ver las preguntas. We're going to start with, okay, Juancito. Ya está listo, Juan. No, 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 Está, le estaba Ey, aplaudiendo. Que, esto sí es rapidez, dije. Mm. Estaba aplaudiendo. Ah, ok, you were clapping. Que siempre... <laughs> ok, eh, what about José? Ok, José, select one word. One word, one question. Eh, nombre Juan. Number one. Tom, get Tom. at a... A.M., 10 a.m. A.M. 10, uh, on Sunday. On Sundays, uh -huh. Tom gets up, Tim, true or false? What do you think? Uh, true or false? True. Yeah, true, okay. Now let's listen to Cesar. And then we go with Elia, okay. Cesar. Um, Tom reads the new paper in the lounge. Okay. Is it true or false? False. Okay, false because he reads in the kitchen, right? Okay. Uh, we go now with course. Abel. Abel and Marvin. Okay, number three, his father lives in Scotland. Uh -huh. His father lives in Scotland. Mm -hmm. It's true. Okay. His mother. 
Okay, uh, but here we have telephone. He telephones his mother in Scotland. Uh, his father, I guess, is not mentioned. So uh, let's false. say false by now, okay? Because it is not mentioned. Okay, what about Elia and then Carly? Tom play, plays tennis with, with his sister. Uh -huh. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Okay, yes, it's true, yes, right? True. true. Okay, Carly. And after Carly, we go with Flor. Uh, number five. Okay. Eat before playing tennis. Okay, um, eat before playing tennis. Mm -hmm. um, it's for they eat dinner in a restaurant, right? Yeah, after, okay. after playing. Okay, in. yes, after, okay. Uh, Flor? Hi, teacher. And then Noe, okay? Hello. Uh, number six. Mm -hmm. Tom goes swimming at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Tom go swims? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, falls Tom swing mm -hmm. for one hour. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. at six. Okay, yes, but at six. Okay, no, eh? And then we go with Marvin. Uh, number 10. Okay, number 10. Tom goes to bed at 11 30 p.m. 30, mm -hmm. what do you think? Uh, two. Okay, thank you. Okay, Marvin, you go. And uh, you can seven. say number seven. seven. Okay. Don't drive to the other's house. Mm -hmm. It's false. It's false. Okay, Juancito, yeah. yes. Number eight, please. Tom and his brother listen to music. It's true. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And what about nine? Tom drinks a glass of wine in the evening. What could it be? Mm -hmm. If it is wine, not right. It is milk. Okay. Milk. So Yes, so that's false. Okay, to finish this activity, um, Teacher, here we have, yes? I'm ready with my lyrics. Ay, I'm fast. Carly. Mira, Carly, nos hace falta algunos que nos digan esta pregunta. Pero si quieres mañana, Mejor te ponen para antifaz. Mí. Mañana. No. Con coreografía. Con coreografía. Y, y así veo una cosa. No, porque la canción cross, es para cortarse la pena. Ah, pues vestite demo, así va, tipo dark. Ok. Dale, pues. Tipo van, vampiresca, así. Algo así. Love her. Ajá, love her. No, bro. Esa no, la canción es para. Ya sí. saben. Ok. Algo así la de Carly dice. Ella, ella dijo así. No, 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 no. Vaya, y la va a dramatizar en Titanic. Ok. And let's listen to, I don't know if Odalis and Kevin is ready. Con esa pregunta, where did you grow up? Yes. Ok, please. Uh, I grew up in San Sebastián, con Vicente. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I remember most is that four person sign festivities. Okay. Yes, the holidays or festivities are always important for como las fiestas, como las fiestas patronales. Las patronales. patronales. Yes, uh -huh. very nice. Yes, always. And there's uh -huh. something that is uh, like repeated, but it is not the same quality. 
every year. No, siempre son de la misma calidad, but it depends. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dalis. Kevin and Marvin. Okay, if Kevin's not ready, Marvin, what about you? Okay, okay. I grew up on the word yep. Colón. Okay. What I remember the most is when we were with my friend played on Christmas, um, Guerra de Silvadores. Yes, very common, yes. And because of that kind of confrontation, Salvadores are not allowed, right? Pero ya después se prohibieron. <laughs> yes, yeah, there were some burning. Había algún, algunas, algunos incendios. There were some fires because of that. But it was for, for a teenager, cuando ya es joven y todo ese niño, that, that's really uh, extreme. You feel the adrenaline. Thank you. Uh, Fatima and Fernando, I don't know if they are ready. Okay. So yes, we'll okay. okay, Fatima. So we'll okay. okay, Fatima. I agree. Okay. Fatima oh. and Fernando. Okay. Hmm. okay. I agree up, up in San Sebastián, Department San Vicente. What I remember most is the trips to the Machacal River with my parents and brothers. Machacal River? I don't know it, no lo conozco, but it sounds like... I don't know it, no lo conozco, yeah. but it sounds like... Tiene que venir, teacher. Okay, good one, a good recommendation. Thank you. And Fernando? I don't know. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Yeah. I agree hey, with Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, the most remember is when I was a child, I played soccer in the street with a neighbor. And always when I enter home, enter to home for what uh, and my mom always say to me, that's it. O sea, como que siempre entraba por agua y decía, ya, ya no vas a salir. Ya estuvo, ya no stop. You are a prisoner. Y tus yeah. amigos esperan all your friends waiting for you. Outside. Yes. Yeah. That was very common. That's why uh, every kid doesn't want to uh, get into the house. Nadie quiere entrar porque ya. Después ya lo dejan salir. Okay. Well, my friends, uh, we're about to finish. Uh, solo recordarles que uh, deben de terminar la unidad 2 y el midterm ahora. Please, I need to, 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 uh, uh, assign the, the grades on the special chart. Hay un cuadro especial de, de notas en los cuales yo pues debo de traspasar las notas, pero la plataforma le da la calificación. Okay, so please say hi, hello, good evening, or bye bye when you listen to your name. Juancito, te quedas, okay, para la sesión que okay. creo que te corresponde. Okay, teacher. Okay. And for the rest, teacher, and we'll necesito say, ayuda. Le escribí. Ok, eh, lo vería otro momento, ok. Ahí le, porque ya se acabó la clase, ok. And good, thank you, thank you. I'm going to call you one by one and say hello or press or goodbye. A ver, hello. Present, Thank you, Alexandra. Uh, Brenda, maybe they are not connected. Present, teacher. César, ok. Present, teacher. Douglas, good. Elia, thank Present. you. Nice, Fatima. Nice, Fatima. Hello, teacher. Hello, Fernando. I'm here. Good. Yo, Flor, okay, Gisela. Present, teacher. Okay. Ya neta a veces le dispara el micrófono. Ok, eh, José Mauricio. Present. Ok, Juan Cristóbal. Colón. Eh, thank you. Julissa. Nice, Carly. And we go with Laura, Marvin. Ok, eh, Mirna, Janet, uh -huh. Odalis. Present, teacher. Good night. Ok, good night. Oscar, eh, Rosa. Present teacher. Kevin, thank you. 
Eh, Present, Mario no es. Okay. Eh, very nice, thank you. Eh, Dicho, okay, yo no le dije friend. presente, pero aquí estoy. Mi okay, perro. Okay, thank you. Ok, ya le vi las caras preocupadas. Ok, ya le vi. Okay. Thank okay. you, thank you. Ok, see you tomorrow, my friends. Bueno, mañana. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. Ok, eh, let's see, eh, Juancito, en, en tu caso podemos hacer dos cosas, um, o te hago una eh, entrevista básica, sencilla en inglés, o me dices que te gustaría que repasáramos como una retroalimentación de algún tema, algo que consideres que es un tanto confuso, te gustaría tener un refuerzo. Fíjese que tal vez, teacher, sería así como de, de, no sé si tiene por ahí en sus haberes material de refuerzo, algún video, cositas de ese tipo que como para repasarlas. A ver, eh, pues realmente solo las, las clases que hemos tenido aquí en PowerPoint pero no sé si hay algún tema en específico o hay algo que, que, te, que consideres. Porque mm. si no, déjame ver. No, le preguntaba esto porque muchas veces, va, tal vez sí nos quedamos con todo lo de la clase. De hecho, faltaría que, que no sé si en la diapositiva que está manejando usted es la misma que nos proporciona el la plataforma ah, o es otra la que está usando usted? Eh, la verdad sí es otra, porque en este caso usted, a ustedes le, les facilitan un manual, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces ese, ese manual lo que, lo que sirve, para lo que sirve es para es una guía, ¿verdad? Pero si te das cuenta yo les pongo más ejercicios, porque el manual sí, es, eso me poco, cuenta. es un poco limitado a veces, porque sí da ejercicios, sí. pero para reforzar más la clase y todo le, les envío eso. ¿Verdad? Pero... De hecho, yo lo que he ido haciendo es hacer mi propio archivo Word y voy copiando las imágenes, las voy pegando y voy poniendo referencias. <ríe> ok, very nice. Eh, Vienen los ejercicios o, o por lo menos sí. partes importantes, ¿verdad? Exacto, eso es lo que he ido haciendo, o sea, como para ir refrescándome ahí en, en los temas. Vaya, entonces vamos a hacer algo mejor. Entonces, déjame ver aquí. Le voy a hacer unas preguntas, así que suenen un poquito, déjame ver, para que, tengamos un par de minutos de conversación. Ok. Sí. Déjame ver acá. Okay, uh, let's uh, talk a little bit in English, okay? And I know, Juan, that you have a good level of English. You have a good comprehension skills. And uh, I don't know if you have learned or you have taken some other English courses. I guess you, you have, or you have learned by your own. Studying self-didactics, autodidacta, maybe you have learned. The... Autodidactic. Never... Okay, very nice. Learning. Okay, I guess you are a self didactic person. You have learned a lot of things in your life, reading, investigating, right? So that's that's really good. That that's positive. Okay, but uh, let's talk about this. You tell me, would you like to plan your own funeral? Imagine you. You are not thinking maybe uh, when you're going to, to pass away, you're going to die. But in your case, would you like to plan your own funeral? Maybe, yeah. yes, no, you're not sure. No. no actually, no. No. Okay, <laughs> <No>. yes. <laughs> no. Okay, that, nice. That's Be it's calabrio. Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, yes. so, okay, let's continue with the next question. Okay. And, and let me see. 
we have some other, this one. Do you consider that El Salvador should have birth control? Do you think that the Salvador should have birth control? Imagine, control the quantity of babies that uh, are in Salvador. I mean, for teenagers, couples, or for families who have 10 kids. Do you consider this a problem or mm. not? Mm. No, it's problem. Uh is education uh, individually or person yes yeah yes uh, no every one or no es de todos yeah yes uh, yes simple uh, individually individual it depends on the families right yes okay now let's move to another question which character from books or movies would you like to be i guess you you have seen a lot of series movies or or you have read some books do you have any any favorite uh, character uh movie okay favorite movie yes okay from a favorite movie who Eh, sería de como le diría de, 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 fantastic eh, yes but <clears throat> do you have a favorite character tienes un personaje favorito eh, would you like to be que te gustaría ser I, talking about fantasy Ah, yes. uh, it's anime. Okay, from anime. Which one? She, uh, Monk D. Luffy. Really? What's the, that's the <laughs> name of the anime? Or yes, that's the name uh, of the character? One Piece. Ah, one, uh, yes, I have, I have heard about it, but I have never seen it. Uh, long, 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 long time. Okay, uh, easy. Is it action, Follow. anime, it's drama? Yes, action. Action, really? Sí. Okay. Five, you... five, five, five. Okay, if you can say top three of your best anime series, what could it be? The one top piece? three, I guess, number uh, one piece is number one, maybe. Okay, what about number two? Second place. Attack of, Attack of Titan. Ah, yes, uh, I, I have seen a couple of them. Yes. Mm, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, okay. Do you like Dragon Ball GT? Mm, so, so. Um, creo que me gustó más el Dragon Ball viejito. El, yes. Old. Yes. Sí. Yes, the first Dragon Ball, I guess, it is the best yes. for me. Even Dragon yes. Ball. Z, el Dragon Ball Z, it's a sí. good one. I love it. I, I, sí. favorite. Maybe my favorite saga, it sells. Yes. Cell is like very complete. There are a Mark lot. Mark generation. Yes. It Marcó toda una generación. O sea. Yes. Yeah, that was very impressive because Freezer was a, a good villain. Buen villano. A really, yes. uh, really good. But from the, uh, I don't know, the all the, the, the things about cells, uh, the androids, and how they were made to, to kill uh, Goku and all those. <laughs> and and travel, travel, uh, travel machine, okay? And yeah. about trunks. So that saga was very complete. It had a lot of components in comparison it's to- It's coming in the future. It's Trump. coming in the future, yes. The first line, I guess that was the best because in, in Dragon Ball Super was different 
good one. Yes. Buena trama, but the first, I guess the first one what was very nice. Yes, yes. So very, 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 very nice. nice. Yes. Okay, okay, Juan, let me tell you something. I guess you have contact with music, a lot of music, series or moods. But it is important also uh, to, I don't know if you see or you watch movies in English with subtitles in English. Si lo ves con subtítulos en inglés, eso ayuda bastante. Sí, trato de hacer eso muchas veces cuando, cuando siento que la película es de un interés muy alto para mí. Trato de hacer eso. Sí, hay eh. cosas que considero que son un poquito más complicadas. Por ejemplo, a veces hablan sobre cálculos científicos y cuestiones así. Es un poco más difícil, pero hay otro tipo de películas que también se pueden ver incluso este, yo lo que sí te recomiendo es que, no sé si tú lees en inglés, pero en voz alta. Sí. sí. Porque a veces uno lee, en mi caso, yo pasé muchos años leyendo, pero no, no articulaba. Ah, okay. yo, yo notaba que yo aprendía muchas palabras, pero al momento de decirlas, me trababa, <ríe> me quedaba. Sí, suele, pero Entonces, tal vez lo, lo que leo yo mucho es que como soy desarrollador, uh -huh. casi todas las aplicaciones para desarrollar, todo está en inglés. Uh -huh. Entonces, por esa parte es que tiendo a pronunciar una que otra palabra bien. No al 100, ¿verdad? Pero una que no, otra. No, pero si qué bueno. Hago. Ajá, eso es. Y, y bueno, porque. Uh -huh. Esa parte de la ne misma necesidad es que ha hecho... Esa parte, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero ya como entablar una conversación es donde el bloqueo ese de vocal que uno tiene como para gesticular el, aunque sea un hello, uno se queda como, ¿qué digo, verdad? Aunque sepa en la mente qué decir. Sí, pero también ahí, Juan, lo que tiene que suceder es que tienes que practicar ese tipo de vocabulario, porque yo he notado que conoce vocabulario un poco rebuscado un poco técnico, tú lo has mencionado, pero quizás está familiarizado con eso, pero quizás no está familiarizado con otro inglés que es más práctico, si te das cuenta, sí. es más, ¿verdad? Un poco entonces, más sencillo. Sí, entonces lo que tú tienes es, es eso, y que te salga, que intentar las palabras que se te vengan a la mente, es agarra, aunque te equivoques, acuérdate que se trata de familiarizarte en ciertos aspectos, ¿verdad? Porque Exacto. sí, me imagino que conoces mucho vocabulario técnico, pero uh, también es necesario el otro tipo de vocabulario para, eh, pues, interactuar. Soltarse. Exacto. Sí. Bien, Juancito, se nos acabó el tiempo. Mira, se fue volando este tiempo, pero este, me alegra que, que seas autodidacta y que aprendas por, sí. por ti mismo. Considero que si tenés el chip, ese chip de, de, de <risa> Gracias, gracias. Solo que sí hay ciertas cositas, ¿verdad? Que, que vamos sí. viendo. Y espero que, que te esté gustando la clase. ¿Cómo vamos? Tratamos de no, ser no. más dinámico. De ¿verdad? hecho, yo le he platicado con mis señores. Yo, nosotros no tenemos niños. Por eso es que okay. muchas veces, aunque tenga el micrófono encendido, casi que yo no hago muy. <risa> ah. no se siente ruido. Es Entonces, correcto, es correcto, sí. Sí, porque solo somos mi señora y yo. Y. Ah. Eso hemos platicado con él y yo le digo, mira, le digo yo, de las dos teachers que hemos tenido, a él le digo yo, eh, he sentido un cambio así abismal, porque la forma didacta que tiene de darla, le digo, es mucho más diferente y se siente que uno aprende, porque solo el hecho del, de los audios que pone, uh -huh. yo al inicio, cuando usted dijo, enfóquense, en lo que saben, no en lo que no entienden. Uh -huh. Cuando entendí yo es después de el primero o segundo audio, fue diferente. Al inicio solo agarré unas tres, cuatro palabras. Igual en el segundo, el tercero fue diferente. El cuarto ya hice una oración completa. Ah, exacto. Entonces, ya, ya se ve la evolución. De hecho, hasta en las paginitas que, que tengo, que donde voy escribiendo, 
se ve la evolución. Entonces le digo yo a mi señora que es completamente diferente el, la parte didacta, cómo la da y que la gente se integre a eso. Sí cuesta, pero en algún momento pues, todos vamos yo en la creo misma que línea. Ya... Ya, yo creo que el grupo ya se adaptó, fíjate, me gusta porque todos los grupos son diferentes, pero, sí, claro. y, pero creo que han captado y sí, eh, creo que es un poco también complicado que los, los participantes se adapten a la metodología del teacher o de sí. la teacher porque cada quien tiene una forma, hay otros teachers que son más pasivos, otros más tranquilos, otros que tienen más estructura gramatical, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero... Porque, yo con, con Janet con Odalis, con César, venimos del grupo anterior. Ajá, ya, ya ven está. Lo, medio los conocen. Y yo muchas veces les hago algún emoji ahí de aplaudir o algo así. Porque ellas han sido un poco así como tímidas para decir o hacer algo. Se nota, se nota que son más cohibidas. Ajá, y para... cuando veo que ellas sí proponen hoy, es que ya han dado un salto más, un paso sí, más. han dado, ya. se están arriesgando. Exacto, entonces cuando veo esa, sí me siento bien por ellas, por el hecho ese que han roto eh, la parte esa de esquema que tienen ellos, que como que hay un algo la que barrera. tiene, ¿verdad? La barrera. La han traspasado y qué bueno, ya, que estamos ahí casi que en el mismo grupo y no, sí. Y aprendiendo. No, se trata. A mí me, me gusta, aunque yo he notado que hay varios que tienen, son un poquito avanzaditos, eh, ya tienen sí, el conocimiento. Sí, sí, sí. Pero me gusta que ellos se integran y todo, y se trata de hacer un ambiente ameno, pues, Juan. De eso se trata, pues, si son dos horas que pasamos acá. Y no, y lo, lo que me gusta que se ven casi que iguales, no anda alguien como que yo aquí, ¿verdad? Y, y aquí eso no me, me gusta bien. mucho. De es, hecho, eso a mí me gusta. Muchos compañeros que, que estuvimos en primer módulo eh, se salieron por lo mismo. Es porque que eso se sentía notado. que estaban a, arriba. En el siguiente módulo sucedió lo mismo, porque se sentían bien arriba, sentían que no les daban lo, lo que ellos querían uh -huh. o pedían. Entonces, creo que no sé si este va a ser la excepción. Ya. La idea es que eh. sigamos, ¿verdad? Hasta donde podamos. Esperaría, esperaría. Por eso les mando las speaking activities, si te das cuenta, porque sí. cada quien, ahí se puede, sí. como, como una, un reto a veces, algunos quieren utilizar otras palabras que en algunas actividades no se puede, pero ahí pueden, pueden eh, entonces, y salen historias graciosas, anécdotas, sí. se trata de eso, pues, ¿verdad? Sí. Así que vamos bueno. bien, Juancito, me, me alegra okay. que estemos bien en el grupo, así que ánimo con todos, nos faltan 10 clases, ya casi terminamos. Gracias, gracias, excelente. Ánimo, bueno, éxito. Pues. Te felicito. Estamos pendientes. Buenas Excelente. Okay. Bye. Thank you.